Hey guys, this is going to be a compliment video, an instructional video uh, on how to create an online interactive puzzle. Now, if you have this document that you see on the screen, uh, you can just go through it and you don't need this video. But if you'd like some, uh, some tips and assistance, you can watch this video. I'll just kind of walk you through it. Now, here's what this is going to create. It's going to create um, an interactive puzzle using Google Docs and Google Forms. And the uh, the participants experience is this. They're going to get a page and then from that page you're going to get some information, right? Something to solve. And then at the bottom of that page they're going to get a link to a form. And that form basically is where you, where the participant's going to answer the question and it's going to check them. And if they get it right, then it sends them to the next document, which is going to have more clues and it's going to have a, a link to the next form which on there it's going to check their answers and if they get it right it goes on to the next form etc cetera, etc cetera. so that's the overview and uh, right here i have an example a very simple one simple to solve and uh, here it is and it and so it it'll have some information and again you'll have a link to this too so you can go through it it's really easy not difficult to figure out and you'll you'll get the experience of what a participant would do so here it would ask how many colors are in our logo the answer is four and then so right here is that link. You would click on it. Then you go to a form. I'll go ahead and do it. And it says how many colors. And then you would put your answer here. Once, you, once the participant submits the correct answer, then it'll give them a link to the next one. All right. So let's go ahead and get back to our, instruction, our instructions here. Each of these links are hot. So if you click on there, it'll just go, it'll jump to the location. And... I, I actually built uh, the instructions in a way that there's certain things you need to know how to do before you actually start building. And if you know how to do these already, great. If you don't, then you, you might want to go through these tutorials to learn these, what I'm calling skills. The skills are how to create a Google Doc and a Google Form. So you want to know how to, how to create them. Uh, you're going to want to know how to insert uh, a link into a Google Doc how to get a link that leads to that Google Doc, uh, how to make a Google Form, an answer checker. Uh, because Google Forms are, are used to, I don't know, gather information, take surveys, make quizzes, and things like that. This is going to be a really different one where it's an answer checker. It's, it's really simple, but you, you need to know how to set that up. How to insert a link into uh, the response of the Google Form, and how to get a link that leads to a to that Google form. So let's take a look here. First thing is how to create a Google Doc and uh, a Google form. So the way to do that is if you have, first of all, you have to have a Google account, right? You have a Gmail or Google account. If you, if you don't use that often, that's okay. Just create one. And if you only use it for this and you don't use Gmail, that's okay. So what you need to be able to do is eventually be able to create a Google Doc and a Google form. And once you do, um, you'll have a page like this and you're going to go to new and you're either going to create a Google Doc like that or you go to more and you go to cr create a Google form. All right. And so that's how you just start them as, as blank, like a blank template. And that's explained right here. The next thing is how to insert a link into a Google Doc. And eh, it's pretty simple. If, if you know how to use Word, uh, you, you'd probably know how to do this. So what you would do is you would go to your Google uh, document. Okay, and you would just highlight things that you want to link to, and then right here there's a button where you insert a link, and you can put whatever you want to send them to. Like up here, I send them to podcaster.com. You you know you can send them to amazon.com, but you're going to want to know how to do that because later you are going to actually put something important there. Uh, in the case of this, I put a link that I grabbed from somewhere else, and then I put uh, that link right there. Okay, so that's the second. That's the next skill. Uh, how to get a link that leads to the Google document. All right, so this is the link that would lead to, for instance, this. Like, how do you send people to this document? Well, uh, the way you do it is you go up here to share, and they've changed it a little bit, but basically what you want to do is uh, you want to um, change this so it says that anybody with a link can view, and that's important. You want them to be a viewer. You you don't want them to be an editor or a commenter. You want them to be a viewer, and then you just copy that link. All right, so that goes into 
your um, clipboard, and now you can use that and put that somewhere else. You can put it in an email and send them to this first page, uh, or later you're going to want to send somebody that comes from, from a form to a document, so that's what you're going to need to do. So that's the next thing, is how, how to get a link to a Google document. So it's right here. Uh, like I said, they've, they've changed the format a little bit, but it still works the same. Next, how to make a Google form an answer checker. Now, if you see all these little red circles, I'm not going to go through it right now, but basically it tells you what to do first. You make the question a short answer question. You make uh, it a required question so that they have to do it. Uh, and then you, there's like these three little dots. Let me see if I can find one here for you. Uh, here, okay. Uh, no, here, yes, okay. Right here, you click on that, and you want to, to, to have it response validation. And then, uh, let's see on the how to create... Uh, after you make response validation, uh, you choose text, and it contains whatever answer you want them to to answer, and the response of your choice, and say nope. So let's take a look what I did here. Uh, I said the text contains the these letters, F O U R, and then if they get it wrong, you can have any answer. I put in nope, or you know try again, or whatever. If you want to be nice. All right, so that's the next skill. And you can always refer back to this document as you're building it if you need to remember these skills. Uh, how to insert a link into the response of a Google form. Okay, so this is where you would put a link to the next document, right? So the there's the first document, then the form, then the next document, then the form, and in this case, the last document. So you have to put a, a link to this document in here so here's how it goes. They, they go to this one first. That link at the bottom leads them to this form. They fill out the form. If they get it right, they're going to get a link to this document. This document has a link with a question to the next form. They go to this form. If they fill it out right, they'll get a link to the congratulations one. So here is how you get a, a, a link. Well, you already know how to get a link from here, right? Because we show, I showed that to you a little earlier. Just a reminder: you want to uh, go share, and then you 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 copy that link. You know, anyone on the internet can view, and that's important. You don't want them to edit it; you, they can view it. You copy that link, and that's a link from here. Well, you want to put that link. You, you want to put that link here so that when they get done, they then uh, will will go to here. All right. So here's how you do it. What you do is um, in the uh, form, you click on the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner, and then you click on presentation. So let's go ahead and do that right there. And you click on presentation. And then right here, uh, you, you can get rid of that if you want, the show link to submit another response. Th that doesn't matter. But right here is just plain old text. You can type whatever you want. Congratulations. Uh, now go here for the next question. And the next question is, you'll notice that is a URL. That's an address. And I got that from this guy here. So I got it from here, pasted it in here. And now when they complete this one, let's go ahead and take a look what it looks like. You'll notice that un until I type out the word four, it, it's going to be wrong. So if I just type, I don't know, five and submit this, it says, nope. But if I type in the right one, then you get congratulations, and then you get a link, and that link will go to the next document, which is this one. Then you put another question. Now you can make this as short or as long as you want. You know, um, obviously, the longer it is, it's more complicated for you to make. But um, you can get give them several different things to do, uh, or you can just have one quick thing. All right, uh, how to get the link that leads to a Google form. So you're going to need to know how to get a link from here and put it uh, in the um, into a Google Doc. Right, right, right. So here is where uh, you would get the link. I believe you just go to send. Let me just verify. Oops. Yeah, okay. So here you go to send. Yeah, right. And then you get this link. You can get a short version, which I always usually do because it's the same thing. It's just shorter. You grab that guy there, and then you would go backwards, right? You're always going backwards, and then paste that 
link right here. So when, when the user clicks on there, they go to this, the user gets it right, it goes to this, the user uh, clicks on there and it, it would go to the next one, which means that that link must have come from this uh, form. So you, you do this thing here, right? And you grab that link and then it's gonna be placed in the form, uh, the document right before it and so on and so forth. So really what you wanna do is you want to go backwards. You wanna to go to the last thing, grab the link, paste it in the response of here. Build that, grab the link, paste it right there. Uh, grab the link from this one, paste it in the response of this when, when, they, when they get it right. Finally, grab the link here and then paste it at the bottom of here to, to start everything off. So uh, that's where you'd be building it. Now, now, uh, now that you have these skills and know how to do it, here's, here's what you do. I would suggest you get all of your content images, get ready before you do anything. I mean, you could do it on one sheet or whatever, but you don't, I mean, I don't suggest that you write these things out on the fly, but whatever. I mean, if you, in this example, you've got three documents and two forms in between, as you can see right up here, right? So you've got the first document, you've got the uh, first form, second document, second form, and then finally, congratulations in this case. Um, but what I suggest you do is work like this. Create the last and final document, this one way over here, first. Then get the link, as I said, put it in here, and go backwards. So uh, there you go. Um, let me see. Yeah, I guess that's it. I, that, that, that would be my, my biggest tips is um, create everything before you get started. Um, and again, you can use just this, this document, uh, and then you should be good to go. And then what you're going to do on this very first form is you're going to grab that link and that's what you're going to share with your users so that they, um, can get started and then send them to the first page and, uh, their experience will be going through this entire thing and eventually getting to the, the answer. All right. All right. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, you can send them my way at podcaster at gmail.com. Um, if you, oh, by the way, if you have any, uh, really cool ones that you've built, uh, let me know too, because I'd like to see ones that you built and use this sort of format in order to create your own, um, online interactive puzzle. All right. 